What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. So today I'm going to be playing a track by the name of Madagascar, made by JV, and it's his most recent release, and it is a paid track, it costs $3, however I do consider this to probably be, probably the most unique track that we've got in the game so far, uh, as I'm just doing some flying around here actually, just having a look to see what's what, there are so many like, little custom people that he's had to cut out and, and plant here, there and everywhere, if I do, a, I'm going to do a quick pan around of the entire track because I know for a fact that I'm going to miss just something, there's multiple um, versions of the track that you can play, so we've got a main track, there's like a tiny little enduro loop, uh, there is just a bit of everything really so i'm not sure how the track rides i've not played it up until now so we're going to do that today there seems to be bits of track going here there and everywhere and i know that i know full well that i'm not going to be able to cover absolutely everything but we will certainly try our best so i have located the start line ahead of recording for this video which is over here so we're going to uh, come over here you can hear all the beach sounds in the volume in the uh, background you can hear all the uh, the waves crashing and things like that so we've got parrots and things lying about everywhere that i can hear and uh, yeah let's uh Let's get into it. So, uh, I'm going to be using the map quite heavily at the top right just to, to help me, I believe, so I don't go in completely the wrong direction. Other than that, we're going to be uh, we're going to be winging it a little bit. I mean, I can already see there's some parts of the track that differ, like go here, there, and everywhere, almost like a secondary layout. But we're going to do this uh, what is called the main track here. Oh, today, don't go off the track, please. I, I will apologise in advance. I'm probably going to be hella rusty. You know, I've been off of the game for. Good. Oh my god, there we go. It's not going to start, is it? Off the game for a good week or so now. And honestly, today is the first day that I felt somewhat well enough to record a video again. So yeah, COVID uh, did hit me rather hard. I saw a lot of comments on that post that I made. Outside of you all being comedic geniuses, talking about me being pregnant. <laughs> that um, it, Everyone seems to have kind of been dealt a little bit differently with it some people said it didn't really affect them at all uh, some people saying it hit them really hard and i feel like i must be one of, one of the unlucky ones you know i had my uh had my two jabs like back when it all first started and yeah it didn't really seem to do much if i'm completely honest i felt like absolute crap and the only one positive that i can take out of it all is uh, i've really had no had no appetite so you remember me a while ago talking about wanting to uh, lose a little bit of timber, uh, trim up a bit. It certainly helped in that regard. I think I'm about six pounds or so down from when it first started. And uh, honestly, I've just been having water uh, and then like one meal a day at the moment. So there's there's that, you know, I've, I still don't feel 100% right now. Uh, still, when I take a COVID test, it will still show up as positive. But yeah, life goes on, have to crack on with things. Uh, I am so far behind in my day job right now it's not even funny uh, i've got to do two weeks worth of work in the next week uh, just to meet some deadlines so we'll see how that all goes absolutely eating dookie cheeks again uh, and i thought we'd mix up a little bit today we are on my uh, yamaha skin if you can see it I don't, it's probably probably the favorite skin i've ever ran like i really really like the look of it unfortunately i just can't seem to get the the yamaha 450 to get go around the track at a somewhat reasonable pace but that is just a that's just a me problem and uh, i don't know what it is recently like even um just before i went away to well being sick i just was not playing bikes very well at all and that seems to seems to be continuing i'm not sure what it is uh, i think i'm just going through a bit of a uh, bit of a bad patch but I cannot for the life of me keep up with some of the top guys right now. So I missed, uh, unfortunately I missed the Southwick ARL race when I was away. Uh, I was at my girlfriend's uni graduation. And then the most recent one, which was, oh shit, what's the name track? Which was Spring, not Spring Creek, Millville. It might be Spring Creek, probably isn't. Millville. Uh, I've been playing it and I'm literally, I'm like five seconds off the pace of the top guys. And for someone as, like myself, who's always kind of in one limb, top guys, it's very, very difficult to deal with. I mess around with some settings, things like that, tried doing some different suspension things. That's very unique. I love that. That's really, really cool. And I just can't for the life of me get my head around things. So I'm, hoping to, I'm just in a bit of a, uh, a drought at the moment. I just need to play the game a bit more, try and get some speed back. But yeah, I've been, I've been struggling, as, as you can see. I mean, even I feel like jumps I'd normally be landing, not going too well. And it's just, it's very, um, very, very down bad is all I can say. I'm gonna come over here we're gonna experiment so i've just done the main track i think there's meant to be like a beach trail and then an enduro loop uh, as a matter of fact actually what i'll do which i don't usually do i'm gonna back out and try the different uh, different types of tracks that i get to see in the menu and we'll see what the actual whole track has to offer 
Okie dokie. So as you can see, we've got the main track, which I've just done there. We've also got an enduro loop and a beach tour. So I'm going to do the beach tour next because I am, I'm quite a fan of that style of track in general. Usually not for me playing because I absolutely suck ass when it comes to sand. Um, but as a whole, the aesthetic of just a really fast, whooped out beach track really does appeal to me. So I'm hoping that will be the case here and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Rightio, I'm just going to copy my setup, so main track, <laughs> VCDX, double let the random letter spam, and we're going to go try and find that, that beach trail that I've just seen. I'm just going to look up at the radar just to stay on track. I'm hoping that the map changes ever so slightly, and I'm not going to be following the same maps I did just now. We will uh, we'll soon find out. Yes, yeah, so I think that is the case because the map seems to go straight on. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, so it's done a good job. It's got all the mapping as it should be. So I can use this map at the top right now to uh, hopefully oh get me going in the right direction. Come on. Oh, there we go. I, I think suspension seems to be my uh, my issue recently on this game. Uh, I've ran, on oh, my Husky at least, I've ran my Supercross setup for all of Nationals. Now, I I'm not one to know what on earth to do when it comes to suspension. And I feel like it's just not quite not quite doing it for me anymore. Like I feel every single bump, the bike seems to skip across bumps rather than uh, soak them up. And it's something that I need to look into. Maybe I I'll ask someone at some point to, uh, to make something for me get over that but yeah it's also something that's probably i mean i'm running stock suspension right now on this yamaha and these uh these whipped out bits so i'm just gonna have to try my very very best to try and double my way around oh that's it oh, okay so now i completely understand what was going on earlier when there was bits of the track that kind of differed from the rest of it so we essentially we've got we've got like two nationals tracks i suppose in one here and then we've also got that little enduro loop oh slam on the brakes slowly on the inside very very nice Oh god, left or right? Right, oh, well, I just saw that. There's a little bit of tape covering that left-hand side. I saw it at the very last second there. Stay on the track, stay on the track. There we go. Oh, up and over, nice. And I suppose whilst we're just ripping around here, trying to go at a somewhat moderate pace, uh, try and give you some updates into what's going on behind the scenes in terms of Beta 18 at the moment. Um, so from what I can see, Boso is changing the way the game deals with like bike mismatches and such. So what we usually have at the moment is we have to sit there wait for the entire like two three minutes for everything to try and land in and then at the very very end of it all is when we get a message saying oh you you've got a bike mismatch or um but the data mismatch i think is the other one and essentially what it does now is it will let you know as soon as it tries loading that one thing that you've got a mismatch or you haven't got to sit there the entire time and uh, apparently the loading is a lot quicker now as well oh god that is not the way to go let me pop a yui Skrr. There we go. Um, so now, just instead of saying bike mismatch, it will actually tell you what bike you are missing. Um, so a lot more specific. So it stops people from scratching their heads. Because I'm pretty sure, like I'm, I check in to the main MX Bikes Discord almost every day. You know, I just have a little nose, see what's, see what's going on, see, see what's new, what's, uh, what dramas are unfolding for the day. And I'm pretty sure on a daily basis now, I'm seeing people saying how do they fix like, bike mismatch and they're missing bikes and so on so the fact now that we can actually get a list of what bikes they are missing i think is absolutely huge probably coming a little bit later than it should do uh there's not a whole lot more going on really at the moment um just some various things like uh, i think he's trying to implement a uh, optional by the way server side a respawn delay so just depending on how fast you go when you crash so if you crash at like 90 miles an hour say so something absurd um then it will take you just a couple seconds before you're allowed to respawn um which i don't think it's terrible in like pro quote unquote pro racing scenarios i feel like that probably be quite a welcome addition it adds a little bit of um, risk to the racing so you can't just send everything all the time uh, a little bit like sim does so sims crash time i think so between maybe like seven to 10 seconds and the whole animation of uh, getting your legs back on the bike and going again um, and then obviously if you used to have a crash at a much slower speed just say just tuck in the front end you can respawn pretty much instantaneously but that's all still in the works and it is all optional uh, server side so it's not something that's going to be forced upon people uh, can all be turned on and off as uh, as people wish which is uh, another cool addition i believe and I i've i've been a bit a bit silent to be honest in that chat as of late um there seems to be a lot of things in regards to like track making which i'm not too clued up on you know like making where skyboxes uh are and how skyboxes rotate around the player and things like that and 
stuff that I have absolutely no idea about, so I'll stay out of that. But some cool, um, just little quality of life things. Um, Pervosa also believes that he's found a reason as to why people get in game crashes when going back to the garage, and even in some scenarios when loading to servers. Something to do with uh, paint files being a little bit funky, uh, causing the game to use random memory, which makes it crash. So that's been looked into at the moment, which I think is cool. I mean, any sort of progress on those crash desktops was uh, very, very welcome in my eyes, because there is nothing more frustrating than when you're already a little, little bit nervous for the day's racing, you know, like maybe you're not qualified the best, you're just itching to get out there and, and playing, and then you get hit with like three crash of desktops in a row, and you start stressing, thinking, oh god, am I going to be able to get in the server in time? Um, so it'd be really, really nice if hopefully, oh god, they can all be fixed as, oh please, oh, oh so, thank you. It'd be nice to see if they all get fixed as time goes on as well. And I believe there is very, very early days of looking into kind of like low, uh, low speed physics. That's uh, so, all something to do with uh, how the rider's legs work with the bike, trying to keep the bike upright as much as possible. And the forces all seem to kind of like fight against each other. And it just ends up working in a negative way where you do like a 720 and go absolutely fly. So they're all being looked into. Overjump the same jump again. I'm going to quickly go and load up the Enduro track and we'll see what that all entails. Oh god, that is an incredibly long enduro loop as well, isn't it? Uh, let me see if I can find where on earth that finish line is. Let's work our way over here. Is it actually just the finish line? Yeah, it is. Okay. Fair enough. We will take the finish line and we'll work our way around. Ah, so pink and blue flags seems to be the uh, <laughs> seems to be what we're aiming for today. So I need to keep my eyes peeled as much as possible, and we'll see what we can do here. So uh, talking about this track overall. It's very, as I say, very, very unique. Nothing quite like this in the game just yet. And he certainly nailed that whole uh, Madagascar vibe, with, especially with the wildlife. You know, we've got the palm trees and all the other exotic plants laying around. Which, okay, I've got to go here. Oh, so I'm keep trying to keep my eye on this map at the top right as well, because... Oh, it seems to be quite difficult to work out where exactly it is that you're going. Usually, so a lot of enduro tracks, the, the ground will be quite a different texture to the rest of it. What, what is that? Is that a crashed aeroplane? That's sick. I, I, I like that. That's really, really cool. I don't think I've seen that uh, projection used in game before, so that's something that he's whipped out of nowhere. Uh, nice that it's very smooth to ride on as well, not all janky and, and crooked and horrible. Right, so, we got to go forwards through here. Do we have to... Okay, we just got to try and mount our way through our rock garden. It's cool. It's nice. It's very, very different. Very, very unique. I will say that much. I'm just trying to keep my eyes peeled to look for the next set of flags as to where on earth I actually have to go. But, I mean, I'm not going over that. I can get, <laughs> I can get away with not going over that. Let's go pop up and over. And oh, whilst I'm doing enduro as well, I'm hopefully going to be doing a uh, what we call a hare and hounds towards the end of this month. Um, it's at Cannon Heights, which is a track that you would have seen me ride previously on the motocross side of things. And they also do a hare and hound event every now and then for uh, members of the club, which um, it's, it's, it's usually about three hours long, I believe. And essentially it's just dead engine start. You know, you go off in your uh, in your groups, off, off your dead engine start. Uh, you've got three hours just to do as many laps as possible. I, I can't speak on the length of the track. It varies each time. Um, but essentially you use parts of the track, uh, parts of a massive field they've got at the back, and then a lot of, uh, there's a lot of wooded area as well. Oh god, where do I go here? I'm going up here, which I'm really excited for, you know. I'm one of them people where I'm at the point now where I don't care so much to go as fast as possible on my bike like I used to when I was younger. I just like riding my bike and I think enduro is one of the things that's absolutely perfect for that. Of course you get the people that are there for the competition aspect, which, oh, which I will uh, definitely not be competitive by any means because on the track not too shabby. I, I tend to hold my own against a lot of the enduro guys. However, when it comes to going through the trees very quickly, that's a whole different ballpark. That is something that I am not very good at. And the absolute, the size of the balls on the like, enduro riders to go through wooded sections as far as they do is actually unreal. I always, <laughs> I'll be going through uh, between a set of trees and I almost like kind of shrink in on myself, trying to make myself as small as possible, even though the width of my handlebars is never going to change, so if I'm going to clip them, I'm going to clip them regardless, it doesn't matter how small I make myself, uh, but I just, I really, uh, I do enjoy my enduro riding, and it's not extreme enduro by any means, it's, I'm not going to be going and doing a mini Erzberg for crying out loud, I've not got the, <laughs> I've not got the bike skills for that, however, I just like my, uh, 
almost like, I suppose it's trail riding at the end of the day. You get a couple logs here and there, a tiny little rock section, and yeah, there's just that. And unfortunately, I, I did want to, uh, next time I do an enduro, I wanted to ride my 125, uh, but it's not going to be ready in time. So it's going to be in a four stroke, which means my right hand is probably going to be killing me because we, we know that the throttle is a hell of a lot, oh, hell of a lot stiffer than it is on the 125, but we move. It's not the end of the world. It should be a good laugh. And I've just been, just been missing some riding really and I was, I was meant to be going riding in about a week and a half's time uh, for one of my mate's birthdays he had a private hire uh, gone on but ended up having to be cancelled so looking for something to replace that so oh, hopefully we'll get some news on that sooner rather than later because I, I was a little bit disappointed I was excited to uh, just have almost like a, a private day which I don't think I've had in years and years and years all the way since I was back on like a 65 just having a private hire day and they are really really cool just kind of go on and off the track as and when you please no pressure or anything like that just just ride when you want and we're almost at the finish line list already actually so um I, I, the only thing I'll say about this enduro track is whilst he's done a I'd say a good job in marking it out with the actual flags for an old man like me who doesn't have the best eyesight Maybe just mixing up the ground decals just a tiny bit more, making them a little bit more distinctive would be great. Because, um, yeah, that's killing my eyes, and I don't think I could do too many laps of that. But as a whole, I think he's done a very, very good track list. He's definitely captured that, that Madagascan feel. Is Madagascan a word? I, think, I feel like it is. The only times I've ever used the word Madagascar in my life is for this video, and then for the bloody film when I was watching it as well. So uh, this is Madagascar 3, the movie. Is, it, shit, is there a 3 out, or did they stop at 2? I can't tell. I don't know if they stopped at two or stopped at three. Uh, but either way, no, he's done, a, he's done a very, very good job here. Very, very unique. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to absolutely love this. Uh, if you haven't got the track already, I'll put the link to it down below. Obviously, it is a paid paid content track. It's $3, I believe, off the top of my head. And just really, really cool. And definitely the most unique track that I think we've got by far. And you can tell that there's been a hell of a lot of effort put into it. Um, I'm going to go and get a cold shower and then probably instantly hop straight back into bed. Because the whole time I've been sat here, I've been sweating one out. And hopefully, I get better sooner rather than later. So, thank you everyone for all the nice words on that post the other day. I do appreciate it. And don't give up your day jobs. You all made the same bloody joke about a pregnancy test. I'm on to all of you. I see all of them. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is you're up to. And until I catch you in the next video, peace. I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time, boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king, honestly, I can't complain, even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want.